So Coco falls up after that one here, folks. And look at this. She sits in the tears of the sun. This is the same move that her, she used to defeat Pink Angel last last time back to the Women's Championship. See move that makes Stacey Valley tap out here. So they happen to Ursa Ariamba. Wait, Ursa using her knee to hit the back end of Coco and able to kick out. My God, how close was that? I could have sworn I was about to see. I mean, you saw the pain and frustration on the face of Ursa Ariano. She was an instant away from tapping. But something inside her dug down deep and had her counter that maneuver. God, what a dive to the outside. You know, Ursa using that legs up once again. It's throws into the barricade in that chorus. Throwing those suit bones, those huge fists to the face of Coco. And now... Oh! She throws into that steel ring post. And now Ursa Arnold's been absolutely ruthless to her opponent here. And she falls over that, that back elbow there. And this, like you said, in the video package in the early going in this match. It was the warrior princess Coco taking on the born fighter Ursa Ariano. And, he, and I, that announcer couldn't have said it better. That's exactly what these two women are all about. Oh, that backstabber. That definitely going to lead to an easily lead to a back injury on the Coco there. I think after everything he's been through in this match so far. And Coco countering Ursa Ariano. That kick, the back, the kick to the back of the head of Ursa. And going off the top must be a huge spear. And my goodness! Oh my god! That super kick! That huge counter, folks! Out of nowhere, it gets a feel the ropes in! And wait a minute! That super kick countering that diving for the top rope! And it got the win! Don't think so. also getting her feel the middle ropes just like how she won. I love that first fight of 2009. Now look at this. Coco, we saw a replay which he did to the table spot and thanks a lot guys for not showing it. That's a huge counter from Coco. That kick falls with that huge snap slam. That kick, I don't know, after Coco with that spear. And then that led this controversial pin with the Ursa once again the feet on the ropes. Once again, retain the Women's Championship. Here's your winner. And still, UWA Women's Champion, Ursula Ariano. Man, everybody's sick of seeing Ursa Ariano retain the championship the same way she always does. And someone's got to step up and challenge Ursa Ariano and challenge her and show her the real fight is all about old Steven. Or well, folks, you know, wait, can overcome the valiant effort. This match should have been... been Coco should have been victorious. But I guess these two will fight another day, hopefully in the near future. This one's far from where I guarantee you that. But folks, we gotta move on to our main event has finally come. We're gonna talk about big action, big stars. Look no further, folks. Our main event is the Nation of Violence as Brom Creed versus a Vampiro take on the turning Gene Starwin along with Spike Spiegel and Samoa Joe. This match can easily change the course of the race future. This is definitely a must see. Let's show you how it all came together, folks. Wait a minute! 
down with that jackhammer. I'm all like, yo, that means, folks, this man right here, the urban legend, Team Starin, whether you like him or not, has won the Master Ring. Do another thing, go for another, but this is the blood and bomb. I oh, want the lights are out. Oh, so a bad timing here. Oh, that way I will book it. Oh, wait, what happened to Gene Stalin? Oh, what, what, the, what the hell has happened? He said, Wait, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a six-man elimination tag team match. Next is the man in charge, senior official, Mr. Robert Sweet. Now coming to you live from the Staples Center Arena from Los Angeles, California, it is now time for your Claim the Fame 2010 main event match of the evening. Now you're seeing participants from team number one. First, he stands in tonight at six feet, four inches tall. He weighed in at 206 pounds. He hails from Baltimore, Maryland. He is the master of the gateway shuffle and the real folk blues, ladies and gentlemen. This is Spy! From American Samoa, he stands in tonight at 6 feet 1 inches tall. He weighed in at 285 pounds. He is the master 
of the Kinkita Clan and the Muscle Buster. He is the Samoan Submission Machine, Samoa Joe! Now introducing their partner, he returns to action tonight from a month and a half long hiatus. He hails from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He weighed in tonight, 234 pounds. He stands in at 6 feet, 2 inches tall. He is the master of the Galactic Leyline and the Outlaw Star Smash. He is the only Grand Slam Champion in UWA history. He is the urban legend, Gene Starwin. Introducing their opponents. First, hailing from Mexico City, Mexico. He weighed in tonight at 260 pounds. He stands in at 6 feet 3 inches tall. Vampiro! Hailing from Transylvania. He weighed in tonight well over 6 feet 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 325 pounds. He is big. Vicious. And now introducing their tag team partners. He is fighting out of his hometown here tonight, Los Angeles, California. He weighed in at 242 pounds. He stands in at 6 feet, 2 inches tall. They call him the One Man Nation. He is the master of the aneurysm and the spine shatter, he is none other than Vaughn Creed. And together, they are the nation of violence. As Rock Dog makes his way back to the broadcast, and now it's able to spike, oh my! It's clotheslining vicious, and once again, we see a rematch between these two epic icons clashing here. And of course, Spike Spiegel and Vicious. We all know they're past folks, and these two men were part of a crime syndicate. At one point, the Vicious turned his back on Spike when Spike wanted a way out. These two men were supposed to sell the differences at Vicious Pandemonium. Of course, Vicious won. He became both underground champion and the West Coast champion, and unified those titles into the No Limits Championship. But in Spike's one, he felt that he had it in him to defeat Vicious all along. He wants to prove himself. And he has an opportunity to do that here tonight with a second chance. As he sees Spike getting up after that knee that he sustained from Big Vicious. And then, oh, wait a minute. I don't know where Arnie is setting up. This is a real folk blues here. And turning around that huge face buster. Folds him over with his pin. And Vampiro Vulcan Vicious and knows him breaking up that pin attempt. I can't believe I'm about to say, but that could have been the end of Vicious in the early on if it wasn't for the other two members of the Nation of Violence, Von Creed and Vampiro. But look at that, Von Creed with that knee drop on the Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe still in the ring illegally. He better get out right now before the referee disqualifies him. Oh no, hell is breaking loose here. There's no way you're going to be able to control all these animals. <laughs> 